Welcome to the Defining Numbers delivered by FedEx. I'm Dan Thomas, joined by Stevie Nichol, Don Hutchison and Gab Marcotti are here to discuss whoa, some of the big talking points after a thrilling round of matches in the Champions League. We, of course, all saw some great goals and a couple of hat-tricks as well to boot. Robert Lewandowski registering three, Karim Benzema as well in that victory against PSG. So the question, in theory, is a simple one. The answer may be a little more complicated. Don, I'll start with you. Who are you having, Benzema or Lewandowski? Oh, what a question that is. What a question. I, will, I am going to go with Lewandowski. I think he's an um, but Well, they're both ridiculous. I mean, they're both outstanding players, but that's my personal choice. Gab? Look, they're right up there. I think maybe Lewandowski, in terms of technical ability, may be somewhat ahead of Karim Benzema. But I think Kareem Benzema's leadership skills, um, the role he plays on that team versus, you know, at Bayern, there are other leaders. For me, that's going to maybe tip the needle a little bit in Benzema's direction. Ooh. I've got to go with Gav. Really? I, I think Lewandowski's the, the better goal scorer. But for, for overall influence on the side, um, I think I'm going to go with Gav and go, go with Benzema. Yeah, you know. You know, Lewandowski, yes, puts the ball in the back of the net, but when things are not going well for Bayern, he's not really the guy that, that, that everybody th goes to right. and looks for the strength. Whereas Real Madrid, on the other hand, when things are not going well, they're always looking to, to look to Benzema for the strength. So I'm going to go with Benzema. Uh, Benzema's hat trick, of course, saw Lionel Messi knocked out of the Champions League. And then Cristiano Ronaldo joined him as well after Manchester United lost against Atletico Madrid. End of an era, Don? Yeah, and it's quite sad, isn't it? I mean, no one wants to see the, the, the best two players that have graced the game for a long time be in decline, but they are for the, for the time catches up to everyone. Uh, when you look back and 20 odd years time when you're talking about the best players in the world and people are mentioning people like Maradona and Pele and Cruyff these two guys have to come into the conversation for sure it's the longevity the the fact they've been able to do it season in season out Gab isn't it that has been so impressive but now both of them seem to have just run out of steam at the same time uh Look, they're, they're obviously slowed down and they're obviously not having a great season, but I am certainly not writing either one of these two people off uh, just yet. Uh, you look at the way somebody like Zlatan Ibrahimovic, who's uh, a fair few years older than these guys, the way he keeps going, you look at the ability uh, that these guys have to reinvent themselves. To some degree, they've already done that. Um, are they going to score 60 goals a season like they used to? Um, probably not but I still think that both have uh, a lot to give uh, for another couple of years. Who's likely to give more? I, 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 I would say Messi because I think he's a, a better footballer. I think Ronaldo's a, a pure goal scorer. But I think, unfortunately, the two of them, and like so many players do, when they're past their best, they still think they can do it. And so they put themselves in a situation where they're expected to produce what they did before. And that's just not going to happen. And so it kind of looks a little bit worse. You know, Ibra's, Ibra's everybody's favourite guy right now because, yes, he's passed his best, but he's actually given back. Right. Because he's helping all these young guys at AC Milan. He did it when he went to MLS. He lifted the league and he helped all the other players around. So, you know, we're not looking at Ibrahimovic over the last three or four years of... of pushing teams to win the Champions League. We're still expecting that from Ronaldo and Messi, which is wrong. But unfortunately, they and their agents have put themselves in that position. So that's the kind of sad bit for me. A couple of former Liverpool players to address our final question. Who should start for Liverpool, in your opinion, alongside Salah and Mane? Should it be Jota, Firmino or Diaz, Don? Um, do you know, I'm a Firmino fan, you know, and I'm probably going to be uh, in the minority here. I just think as a midfield player and you want a centre forward that's reliable, who gets hold of the ball, his numbers are not going to be the same, I don't think, as Jota and Diaz and people like Sadio Mane and Mo Salah. But I think he's reliable, he's dependable. Um, I would go for Firmino, but I understand that I'm probably in the minority saying that. Stevie? Well, Donald, you're not in the minority at all. Oh. I would go with Firmino as well. I, I think that 
I think that three is a probing three. I think Firmino, you know, the, the, the other two guys are expected to score goals. Uh, that's, in my opinion, not the main job of Firmino. Firmino is the guy who's supposed to link back, middle and front. He's the guy who's supposed to link with the, those two wide of them to create chances, mostly from them. He's expected to pitch in now and again with the odd goal, which he does. But I, I think absolutely that the front three with Firmino right in the middle is the best right now. Do you concur, Gav? I think if he's fully fit and at his best, it's Firmino. I think it also probably depends uh, on the opponent as well. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm very excited by what Luis Diaz brings and you know the prospect of having Salah and Mane uh, play more through the middle. Gentlemen, as always, thank you very much. That's the defining numbers delivered by FedEx. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.